After almost one year, the next dungeon has finally come, and I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about this update, along with when it could release, which is happening very, very soon. Now, I want to begin with talking about everything we know about this update. Now, the newest thing we got was this Dungeon 17 trailer, which was actually released by, like, the official Dungeon Quest channel. And this is definitely a huge indication that this update is coming extremely soon, and I'm going to talk more about, like, its actual release date a little bit later in the video but looking more into the image you can definitely see that it's more of like a bright void themed dungeon and we can make out like this gate along with this very sick looking character now of course this isn't probably what it's gonna look like in game this seems like just promotional art but i really do think that it solidifies the theme of this dungeon really the best dungeon i can compare it to is the underworld because it's truly i think that this dungeon is most similar to that new dungeon yeah i really think that this next dungeon is gonna be like a better version of the underworld but going back to the lobby there's something else that pretty much all of you guys have probably noticed and that of course is this board right here showing a lot of dungeon leaks you can see like some murals some kind of uh concept arts and really just starting out with the concept art, you can see, like, of course, this mage kind of enemy, this bird enemy, and of course, these different forms of warriors. I definitely don't think that any of, like, these concept art images represent, like, any of the armors that you can get. And there are armor leaks, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. But yeah, you can also see, like, what seems like a boss. And yeah, of course, finally, we do have, like, these texts, which say a bunch of different things. Like, for example, this one right here, here says since the dawn of life balance laid in strife of good and evil realms in constant upheaval yeah all of these other images say a bunch of different things as well now, i mentioned before that we did get an armor leak for this dungeon and yeah this is what it actually looks like now i did kind of upscale the image you can definitely tell that this is more of like a tier one piece and honestly this set looks kind of crazy it definitely embraces the void themes of the dungeon now i personally think that this set looks extremely similar to like the northern lands mage set which definitely makes it seem like this will be a mage set now really what i think is that this dungeon will be kind of like a mix between northern lands and the underworld based Based on like the leaked concept art it really really looks that way but now what i really want to talk about is when this update will actually be dropping because i think this is a hugely important thing now the first kind of main indicator of when this dungeon will release is actually like the statement from a dungeon quest developer who states that the dungeon quest team has finished phase three of development on dungeon 17 and we are moving to phase four now what they kind of mean by phases is like this dungeon uh development completion meter which shows like phase one through to phase four and yeah we've already done like all of these phases throughout like may all the way to now and now we're really on phase four which is the final things which really only is like the qa testing and the final polish they also go on to say that over the next few weeks we will be working hard on final polish testing and balancing oh uh, which again the implication is that this dungeon is going to be coming in a few weeks so that coupled with the fact that we literally just got like this official trailer i think this is coming extremely extremely soon and really one more thing that kind of shows like when this update will likely come is this event that we got yeah if you actually go and look at like the event quest log you'll see that this event ends in seven days so this could obviously imply that after this update the dungeon will be coming but i definitely think this does mean is that the dungeon won't be dropping within the next seven days and it'll be past then now if we look at the previous dungeon which of course is yokai peak this dungeon honestly had very mixed reactions i personally thought this this dungeon was one of the best in the game however a lot of people hated this dungeon for various reasons with the main one being that this dungeon was overly easy and i think that this will definitely be like a potential issue with the next dungeon but what i think people probably care about a little bit more is how good this dungeon will be now, unlike Yokai Peak, this dungeon actually had six months of development. And I think that this time period is kind of better represented 
in this completion meter but really the main takeaway is that yokai peak took way less time to develop and did not have as much work put into it yeah voldex came in and around like late june of 2023 with the first update being in october so yokai peak actually had almost two months less development time than of course this next dungeon which we'll be releasing which means that this dungeon should definitely be expected to be much higher quality than yokai peak because let's be honest this dungeon has a big responsibility because currently dungeon quest is in quite a low phase right now having like only 2,000 active players compared to like the what 10,000 it would get a few months ago and yeah of course i'm not saying that this is bad or anything but this update is gonna bring a lot more players back to the game and this number is probably gonna be in the tens of thousands so this dungeon of course has a responsibility to be good and to actually be something worth playing and yeah if this update really doesn't do what the developers i assume are predicting it will i think that dungeon quest could be in a pretty bad state really a lot of higher level players have no incentive to currently play the game uh which kind of puts them in a place where they just are not even touching the game really after doing the dungeon and getting like all the best gear that you can get there's not much else to do with this game and i recently kind of did like a poll asking if players could play dungeon 17 which of course is the next dungeon and 55 percent of my audience said that they could play dungeon 17 yeah this had almost 2,000 votes so this is quite a big poll and i think that this does further shine on the fact that a lot of people are high level and you could argue that the majority of players that play this game are able to play the highest dungeon and can actually play it yeah i'm not gonna lie this dungeon has to do things perfectly because it has been over a year now that i'm thinking about it enchanted forest honestly is probably like even closer than the underworld to what the theme of this next dungeon would be yeah i'm gonna be honest if this dungeon doesn't really do what people want it to do this game could be in a pretty bad state i mean right now if you even just go and search dungeon quest the literal top video the most boring ga roblox game to date even if you look at like the graph from the last couple of months you can definitely see that it is going very much down going from like 7,000, 6,000 average players to now sitting in the 2000s so truly like this dungeon has a huge responsibility now the next idea that i kind of want to bring up is a possible dungeon event because for yokai peak they actually went and did like a huge event with the update it was actually one of like the biggest events the game had ever seen with of course the oni awakening and yeah pretty much what would happen is you'd gain like souls through doing dungeons and yeah there was also two times xp so i think that they should probably do like an event with the update to kind of like reward like the newer players who are trying to get into the higher dungeon and kind of giving them an incentive to play i also think that this builds like hype around the community from not just the high level players but all players all around so yeah i can almost like guarantee that there will be a huge event with this update and potentially like a hype week as well just getting players prepared for this huge dungeon to draw but anyways i got another video on the screen for you guys so definitely go check it out but for now i'll see you guys later